there is something fundamentally wrong, both morally and commercially, in how large businesses are now continuing to abuse their supply chains. We've got the prompt payment code, and yet we still have signatories to the prompt payment code who are extending their payment terms to their suppliers. And also, we still don't even yet have the FTSE 100, let alone the FTSE 350, signed up to that prompt payment code. Now, until the big companies do it, you're not going to get very many small companies able to do it because they just haven't got the money coming through to them that is owed to them. This does mean that it's hindering and restricting growth, it's hindering and restricting investment, it's hindering and restricting job creation, and when businesses haven't actually got their money in their pocket, they can't do anything to increase wages either. And I think there's an area here where business them must actually take some of that responsibility and make sure that they tighten up some of their procedures around that. Um, we're all very good at doing the work, we're sometimes not so good at actually putting the invoice in and doing it correctly. Just making sure that those uh, I's are dotted and T's are crossed is absolutely crucial to making sure that you've done your bit to help get your payment back through from the uh, customer. At the end of the day, small businesses are not getting their money back in their pockets to grow, invest and create more jobs. We shall be lobbying very, very hard with the new government when it's elected next May to try and make sure that this problem is once and for all dealt with.